Hi YouTuber, let's talk about an uh, old project that I made a long time ago. Uh, the 555 project I make about uh, almost, almost uh, 21 years ago. After I served as a soldier in the Air Force, before that, uh, I uh, why I make this uh, this project because at that time I acquired a very old oscilloscope. I need some singles to look at. When I finish this project, it did bring some. It did give me some pleasure to watch the waveform it, it managed to uh, give out. Okay, let's open it up and I will show you how it's... Okay, this is the inside view of this project. Here is the transformer, and then this this part is a rectifier. A rectifier circuit, and uh, you provide the, the DC voltage to the circuit. And this part is the 555 chip. As this 555 chip serves as a oscillator, its frequency can be changed by the capacitors here and here. This one and this one and other small one somewhere in, in, in the behind and then this acceleration the frequency can be changed by select different capacitors here and then the oscillation go into the 90 uh, uh, decay counter a, a, a de decay counter and this counter output to uh, BCD to decimal decoder and all the decimal output pin connected to the a road of of transistor and each transistor was provided by a trim power that could be that could vary the different voltage to to provide the different could trim uh, could each trim power provide different you can you can adjust the voltage you want. So it will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then start again. So that the voltage output will be transistor one voltage, and then transistor one, transistor two voltage, and so on. So I uh, this this uh, circuit. This project, I can create an arbitrary waveform. The resolution is quite low. It's only got 10 transistors. Now, the arbitrary waveform is all dead. Only the square wave from the 555 is still alive. 
Thank you for watching. Bye bye.